Don't they teach kids sex ed anymore? Hello, I'm Tab Hunter, and I've got a secret. I had a wonderful relationship with my body. Hi, my name is Peter Knett and I'm here with Daily Extra um, to talk to Andrew Murphy, the Director of Programming at Inside Out. It's the festival's 25th anniversary this year. Hey Andrew. Hey Peter. So let's start things off by talking about the opening night film, which is an amazing, great film that's um, going to kick things off in style. Yes, we're very excited. Um, opening night, uh, kicking off 25 years, is an uh, international premiere of Grandma, uh, Paul White's latest film, who brought us About a Boy, and it is a great sort of road trip style movie starring the amazing Lily Tomlin. What are you, a moron? What are you, both morons? Don't they teach kids sex ed anymore? Look at this sorry ass loser. Some people should not grow beards. Your face looks like an armpit. It's her first lead role in like two decades or something yeah, like that. Yeah, it's been a long time. Yeah, that's and great. I feel like this is gonna be one of her busiest years in a long time, I guess, especially with the Netflix series and stuff, so. Hopefully we're onto something, a, a genesis, I guess, of, of Lily. Yeah. <laughs> um, and let's talk about some of the, because of the 25th anniversary, you're doing a ton of amazing retro retrospective screenings. Mm -hmm. um, maybe you can talk a little bit about what you guys are doing to celebrate this uh, milestone. You know, we want to recognize the past and also celebrate the next 25. So, um, you know, we've been doing a retrospective series. Um, the last five of those will happen during the festival. Um, so we found a 35 mil print of the Chanson de Mort, which would be great great fun. As well, we're doing 25th anniversary screening of uh, Patricia Rosima's When Night is Falling, uh, so that should be great. And there's uh, a few others, well, I think, that will be crowd pleasers like Pariah, uh, by, uh, Dee Reese's first feature, um, who also has her latest HBO uh, film, uh, Bessie, which we'll be showing as well. Um, and speaking of the future, you guys have a lot of world premieres this year, so maybe you can talk about these films that we haven't heard of yet, but we're going to discover with you guys. It's very exciting. Uh, I think we've, we've got about five or more world premieres within our festival, which is great. Uh, one of them, a favorite of mine, is called You're Killing Me, which is sort of a comedy horror genre by Jim Hansen. <laughs> I think it's um, a wake-up call to the gay community <laughs> who live on their phones and on their hookup apps uh, because it centers around one young uh, adult who is so self-absorbed in his life and in his own drama that he doesn't realize he's dating a serial killer. So it should be a lot of fun. Sounds like a great time. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Let's also talk about some documentaries. Uh, you guys have Tab Hunter Confidential this year. Yes, uh, so Tab Hunter, um, I think some of the, the younger career generation may not know. You know. He was one of the quintessential mat matinee idols uh, in old, of, of, of old, old Hollywood, I guess you would say, um, back in the days of Debbie Reynolds and Rita Hayworth. And, and uh, you know, coming up in that era, he, he's now 83, and he really offers, uh, I think, a bridge between old and new Hollywood. And uh, he's coming uh, to present the film with oh, wow. us, which is directed by Jeffrey Schwartz, who did I Am Divine and Vito uh, documentaries uh, in previous selections at Inside Out. So we'll do a sit-down chat with, with Tab. Tab Hunter! How do you shave, Tab? With the Gillette Super Speed, of course. What do you like about Tab Hunter? Well... <laughs> and also sort of throwing back to the, the past in terms of Hollywood, uh, 54, which is the movie that came out in the 90s-ish. 98, I think. 98. You're getting a director's cut with a whole m bunch more gay sex involving Ryan Phillippe. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It didn't matter if you were a plumber or a supermodel. Not with that shirt. I said not with that shirt. If you looked hot enough, you were in. Welcome to my party, handsome. I'm going to be saying 54! Uh, also, a film that I have seen and loved, and I'm excited to uh, see again here is Nasty Baby, which is like this such a bizarre, lovely little movie with Kristen Wiig. It is such a schizophrenic <laughs> film, but it's so amazing. It, you know, we we did have some discussion about um, including it in the context of an LGBT festival, but it's a gay director, and it is a gay story, and I, yeah. I think it really falls into that post-gay category. It feels like a feel-good rom-com style film, and it just takes a completely different <laughs> and dark turn. Yeah. You know, it's really interesting, and it's true independent cinema. D wholly unexpected. Yeah, yeah. so I'm, I'm excited about that screening as well. So beyond the films we've talked about, um, or that I've mentioned, uh, what are some other films that we should be looking out for that maybe are sort of off some people's radars? You know, one that really was a favorite of mine out of Berlin from competition was um, the new Peter Greenaway film, Eisenstein in Guanajuato. 
uh, which was about the Russian filmmaker Sergei Eisenstein, who, after coming off Battleship Potemkin, goes to Mexico to uh, do some location scouting for his next film and ends up having a very sordid affair with his Mexican tour guide. Um, there's olive oil involved and a lot of dialogue, and it's hilarious and very sexy, and it's it's definitely worth checking out on the screen. Well, thanks so much for being here, Andrew, oh, and good luck with chatting. the lead up to the festival. Thank you.